autism has become an epidemic. 25 years ago, 35 years ago, you look at the statistics, not even close. It has gotten totally out of control. Republican candidate Donald Trump highlighted an issue at last night's presidential debate that you rarely hear on the campaign trail. The billionaire is giving autism a new voice by suggesting that vaccines or concentrations of them cause autism. Coincidentally, today is the big give for autism, a nationwide celebration marking four decades of advocacy and education. We wanted to know how Trump's comments will impact the fundraising efforts. Reporter Miranda Christian is live with some answers. Miranda. The Autism Society of America is hoping that bringing this topic into the debate will actually help their fundraiser by making people more aware. Autism has become an epidemic. After Donald Trump's remarks during Wednesday's night's Republican debate, people took to social media to express their opinions on autism and vaccines. The, the social media sort of explodes on those very passionate feelings, and uh, it comes from the, the reds and the blues and the greens and the independents, whatever it is, people feel very strongly, I think, about um, about autism. Autism Society of Nebraska Vice President Wendy Hamilton says when the topic of autism appears in the national spotlight, they try to look at the positive side. Any publicity is good publicity. And what I would hope is that that conversation being made so public, people take an opportunity to say, wait a second, I think I want to look into that a little bit more. Hamilton says the vaccine debate has been around for years and Trump is bringing it back to the forefront. I'm not here to say, to, to tell people what to believe or not to believe, except I would say educate yourself. Autism being discussed during the debate couldn't have come at a better time for ASN. A national all-day online fundraiser on Thursday will help the 21,000 Nebraskans who are currently diagnosed with autism. Uh, I think any time it, it's brought up in conversation is, is good. Mm -hmm. um, the timing couldn't have been more perfect for us, given that we're doing a, a major fundraiser. So for that, we, we say thanks. Now the fundraiser does end at midnight tonight. If you would like to donate or just want more information, we've put a link on our website at KMTV.com. Live in studio, I'm Miranda Christian, Action 3 News.